I'm standing in the cloister of San Maclou, one of the four schools the brothers came and opened in Rouen in 1705. The brothers, of course, lived and worked at the hospital, where they returned at midday to serve the poor their meal, back to the school in the afternoon, then back in the evening to serve the poor once again. A very, very hard and arduous kind of life. The presence of the school, the presence of the brothers in this school, dates then from 1705, right to the time of the revolution. After the revolution, the school was resumed and lasted again until the expulsion of 1904-1905. In this particular area, you find in the part all around here, this ancient building, reminders of the great death, the plague, and as a result, symbols of the dance of death. For example, the danse macabre, you can find all around the walls here. People were buried here even when the school was being run. In the foreground here, the tombs that belonged to the more wealthy, and in the other part, the tombs that, or the graves rather, where the poor were buried, sometimes in a common grave. This continuing presence of the brothers in this area is its own reminder of their dedication to the poor. We recall that the dedication to this very, very difficult work, particularly working in the hospital at the same time, eventually became so arduous that it was the intervention of Poincaré and of the Archbishop that led eventually to some lightening of the brother's load. But the place stands today a reminder of a Lasallian school of the very, very first vintage in the 18th century, something that is a symbol of the attitude and care of the brothers with the poor to the present day.